Cookies. We're going to make some cookies. So the ingredients you're going to need are right here in front of you. Butter, eggs, baking soda, brown sugar, white sugar, vanilla, whole wheat flour. I'm telling you, man, whole wheat flour is the best stuff to use in these cookies. And oatmeal. And I know, you're thinking oatmeal cookies? No, they're chocolate chip cookies. And I'm giving you this special recipe that we've been making for years. And they're the best. The best! Look. I just gave you a little bit of a view of the special recipe. But I ain't going to show you everything. I ain't going to show you everything. Which I think I am. So, what you have to do is you got to add the sugar in one bowl. Melt your two sticks of butter. Pour your hot melted butter over the sugar. And, and mix it. Get it. You gotta have a wet mix and you got a dry mix. See the dry mix over here? This is the secret, guys. Good camera work. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this in. Then, see if it's hot. It's not that hot, so you don't wanna add, you wanna add your eggs to this. You don't wanna add it hot because it'll turn into scrambled eggs. So, there you go. Now mix this up. We're gonna mix it with the dry mix. This camera keeps getting all crooked, but so the dry mix, we're gonna mix all this up. So the dry mix is baking soda, whole wheat flour, Quaker oats, so oatmeal, uh, a little bit of salt, chocolate chips. That's the dry mix right here. The wet mix, of course, is brown sugar, white sugar, melted butter, eggs, and I added some a tablespoon of vanilla. Now we're just going to combine these two and fold it in. This is what it looks like right here. So what you want to do now, once you mix everything up, pop it in the refrigerator for about 20, 25 minutes. It's going to set. Trust me, this is the key to it. you got to let it set. These are, these are steps. Baking is, is tricky, man. you got to do exactly the same thing every single time. So this is the part where it sets. It kind of comes, comes together. I don't know what it does, but it just works really well. While it's in the refrigerator, turn your oven on, preheat it. So if you have a convection oven, put, your, put it on convection at 360. 355, somewhere around there. I know it sounds crazy, but that's good. If you don't, 375. If you don't have a convection, you got a regular oven, 375. So when the cookies are in the refrigerator and you're preheating your oven, go ahead and clean up. Get everything clean, washed, because when you bake those cookies and they're done, you ain't got to do nothing afterwards. Recipe time. So what you want of these old-fashioned Quaker oats, you want about three-quarters of a cup. Whole wheat flour, you want about a cup and three-quarters baking soda about a teaspoon about a tablespoon a tablespoon of vanilla about three quarter cups of white sugar three quarter cups of brown sugar two eggs two sticks of butter and a cup and a half of chocolate chips and a pinch of salt about a teaspoon of salt your wet ingredients are the two sugars with melted butter you melt that down and then you add your two eggs and then you add your vanilla that's your wet ingredients the rest of it is dry ingredients separate the two then you combine them Crisco Man, if you don't, if you ain't never heard, you better ask somebody. Look at that slick, that slick ass pan. You ever get cookies stuck on your pan? I know there's silk pads and wax paper and all kind of stuff. Look, man, long time ago they didn't use stuff like that. This is what they used. And you know, when you cook those cookies, they're gonna come right off there. They're gonna, they're gonna stick. And really, just wipe it off, stick it back in your cupboard. No mess, baby. I'll show you. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. The timer just went off with the oven. It's hot. It's ready to go. So we're going to take these. Something like that. About that size right there. This pan's probably going to fit about six of them. So I have 12 cookies. All for me. All for me. That's what I do. So there you go. I didn't go with 12. I just didn't want to develop diabetes tonight. We'll hold off one more night. It'll be good, right? Pop these in the oven. There they go. So you can see that batch, it does about, uh, probably, see, probably 18 to 20 cookies. A nice size cookie too. All right, after about, I don't know, 12 minutes, this is what they should look like. You see a little bit of brown on the edge right there? Just a little bit. Let's see if they stuck. Oh, snap, that Crisco didn't work too good. I mean, here I am talking y'all up, Crisco. You ain't gonna work for me like that. Making me look. Oh, look, it did work. Hey, <laughs> it's a little bit. Just wipe that out. What do you think? 
Yummy? Don't have to finish What do you think? Cookie. <laughs> Magnolia, what happened? Did Crawford bite you? Cookie. Where at? Good grief. Not, no, no, no. He must have thought there was a cookie on your arm. No. <laughs> so, so we're going to slide one off. And oh, shoot. No. Georgia, this thing's all messed up. I'm going to have to wait for they cool down. Let's try it like this. I screwed up. Look. You get half of one. Boom. That's what happens when you do one handed stuff. But look. See that mess? Straight on a pan. I mean, there's barely anything on there. You just. Probably no cleanup. Y'all ready to eat a cookie? Yeah. Can I get a. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. We ain't ready. Put them back. Y'all finna have to sing me a song or something. Thank you for making the cookies. You shouldn't have me. You gotta put some. You gotta put some, like, excitement in it. Make me laugh. I don't know. Look at that. Clean. They scrape right off. It was just hard to do it with one hand, guys. Let me try a little bit of it. Mm hmm. If you are an entrepreneur out there, if you're thinking about being one, you'd be really smart to steal this recipe and start yourself a cookie chain. Because this, my friend, is a multi billion dollar, and I'm not even joking, a multi billion dollar recipe. If you don't do it, I'm going to do it.